So yesterday I went to Forks, Washington to check out the new Sasquatch store called Sasquatch the Legend. And I picked up a couple items that I will be happy to share with you. Get, time to get ready to go. Forks is about a one hour drive from Mia Bay. In case you didn't know, the Macaw Reservation right now where I live in Mia Bay, Washington is actually closed to the public. It's been closed for two years now because of COVID. And uh, there's hasn't been a lot of plans about exactly when to open, but I got a feeling they're gonna open up the reservation soon. But this is the checkpoint right here. It's where they stop people, uh, non-residents, from trying to come in. They're talking about having macaw days later on this summer, from what I can see, and so that, that tells me they're gonna probably open up the reservation sometime this summer or spring. Ah, I gotta stop and pick up my daughter. And whatever you do, don't look at her bangs. She's very self-conscious about her bangs. <laughs> oh my god, no! Not the bangs! So what are we doing today? We are going to Fork, so you'll oh, just yeah. use the car wash there. Right, this there. is the bypass that we have to go on and get the car all muddy. I just washed the car yesterday too. This is the part that sucks, waiting for that light. Ah, it's focusing on the window, stupid. <laughs> on the way here, I saw a funny sign I had to check out. Sasquatch are real. So you know what to do if you see one. Okay, we are just getting to Forks right now and I don't really know where this place is. And I didn't see an address so I guess we just gotta look around. Forks isn't too big though, we should be able to find it pretty easy. Oh wait, I think I know where it is. Actually here it is right here, just past the Mexican. Okay, we're at the Sasquatch, the Legends store in Forks right now. We're gonna go check out and see what's inside. Oh, this place is big. Got a lot of stuff here. And my daughter has an obsession with claw machines. <laughs> you wanna go check it out? You have any quarters? Thank you. First try. <laughs> Lucky dog. <laughs> so this is my first time in the store here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your store? Welcome to Sasquatch the Legend. It's a little bit of everything Sasquatch and more. Um, we actually do a podcast here so people can come in and record their stories and tell us a little bit about their experiences with Sasquatch. So if somebody has a story, a Sasquatch story, they can actually come into the store yeah. and in your room? They can come in and it's right over here. So have you had anybody come in yet? We, we've had people come in and tell us their stories, but a lot of them don't feel comfortable recording them or it's real personal to them. So. Yeah. Well, um, we don't pressure anybody. So is this like a soundproof room or something kind of? Um, yeah. Oh yeah. And we make all the shirts in-house. We have permission from artists to do their prints and I think it's really cool that we make them here and that we use a silk screening process to do that. All of our cups we do here in-house also. Anything you see with an embroidered Sasquatch on it, we've also done that. So a lot of customizations. Somebody can't make it to Forks. Uh, how can they find this place? Do you have an well, online store? Our, our whole store is actually active online as well. We also have it on Etsy and eBay, so you can access full inventory from any of those sites as well. How would you find those sites? Um, SasquatchTheLegend.com and you just type that into your Google bar, it'll pull up the whole website. Great, that's exciting. Uh, thanks for sharing. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Okay. Win anything else? Um, no, but I'm really close to winning something. I found out the squeaks. <laughs> What are these? Is 
that for like, oh, it's like a little mini um, survival kit. So this is cool right here. I've always wanted to hear these. Um, I briefly met Ron at a Sasquatch Fest in Nia Bay, and I never did get to hear the CM or the Sierra recordings yet. So, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick up one of these. Sasquatch Coffee Company Monster Sauce. So yesterday I couldn't make up my mind what coffee I wanted, so I ended up downloading an app called Wheel, and it allows you to put a whole bunch of words in, and then you can spin the wheel and randomly get a choice. I guess we'll spin it. Feeling squatchy. Oh wow, look at that, custom bags too. So. Every purchase comes with your own stickers. Wow. Okay, so we are done. Time to go find some food. I just wish I had a CD player in my car. Um, I don't know what to do about that. The first thing we're gonna check out today is some coffee from the Sasquatch Coffee Company. It's actually a pretty smooth tasting coffee. I actually don't even feel like I need to put coffee creamer in it. Right now I want to provide a little bit of backstory about how I accidentally fell into the Bigfoot community. I've been an audio editor, well and video, for the last 20 years. There was a guy on the internet asking if anybody knew of a location in the wilderness that was scenic that didn't require a whole bunch of permitting. Now, Washington State is, of course, a lot of beautiful scenery but most of it is in national parks so you can't really legally film there so I told them said well just come to the Macaw Reservation I says you don't need any permits here everything's kind of you know anything goes I didn't think much about it and a couple weeks later he got a hold of me and says hey I'm I'm coming up a couple days you're gonna be around I said, yeah I'll, I'll be here and he said you don't mind if I bring a friend to you I said no no problem so I had no idea who he was talking about so he comes into town, I think they were in a Jeep, and he had a trailer behind him with this uh, little scooter in the back, and all their film gear. And it turned out to be Cliff Barackman from the Finding Bigfoot show. And I kind of knew who he was. Uh, I, you know, I didn't really follow the show a lot, but we spent the day together and did some filming, kind of gave him a tour around the reservation and got some pictures with Cliff. And he gave me a um, Bigfoot hand imprint from the mud and also Bigfoot cast, but one of my kids broke it. So I need to try to repair this. Actually, right about that time too, people were coming to me with these sounds they were recording in the woods because they knew I did audio and editing, video editing. And I uploaded a video onto YouTube of some of the sounds I had been editing. And that got the attention of some companies in California. And I was um, invited down to Burbank to be on Mysteries Decoded. But anyway, fast forward to today. Something that I haven't been able to do but has been on my bucket list for years is listen to the Sasquatch recordings by Ron Moorhead. Um, I think they call them this, the other one is like the Sierra recordings. So something I'm going to be interested to see if any of these recordings have consistent sound patterns to the ones that we are recording here in Nia Bay. I've never listened to these yet. Again, this is Bigfoot recordings by Ron Moorhead. So that's pretty neat. If you want to check these out, definitely check out Ron Moorhead's uh, Bigfoot Sounds. Um, next one I'm going to check out is the Sierra Sounds, I think. And last we have the Monster Sauce, but I'm going to have to save that for another video. See ya.